everybody, this is Rob Swatsky, and let's continue our histology lab review screencast, finishing up the epithelial tissue. Let's begin with stratified squamous epithelium. Now we know simple epithelial tissue is one cell layer thick. Stratified epithelium is many layers thick. Strata means layers and we see the very flat layers of our squamous epithelial tissue covering surfaces lining the interior of cavities. We see this as a very strong physical protecting epithelial tissue where it's found lining the entire inner mouth, the oral cavity, tongue, the pharynx and the food tube, the esophagus, all the physical friction of food moving through would damage uh, and irritate very thin epithelial linings, but not so with the stratified tissue. We also find stratified squamous epithelium on the epidermis of the skin, the outermost covering of the skin, providing tremendous physical protection. Here's another view of stratified squamous epithelium, but in this case found in thick skin, such as the palms of the hand and the soles of the feet, where we have many, many more layers of stratified squamous tissue offering even more tougher protection against friction. Our next epithelial tissue is transitional epithelium. And when you look at this tissue, it doesn't really have any one distinct shape like the others have. It sometimes looks, when it's stretched out, like squamous tissue. And when it's more relaxed, like we see here, it resembles more cuboidal cells. You know, we see the nucleus and kind of the roundish cell. But the cell shape is very transitional in form because of the function of this tissue. It's a very elastic tissue. It's lining the urinary bladder and portions of the urinary tract where it can distend, which means it can stretch out. And as the bladder fills up with urine, it can accommodate large volumes of fluid. And then after urination, the bladder is empty and the tissue can recoil back to its original shape. So the transitional nature suits this tissue shape really well. So when you look at these layers, it, it's not clear layering like we see in the stratified squamous tissue. The, these round cells like, like bubbly bubble wrap cells are kind of all just piled together haphazardly and that's important for the flexibility of this tissue as it distends and stretches out. And that wraps it up for our epithelial tissue. The next screencast will feature the connective tissue. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helping you review and learn histology.